Um, what is the historical significance of Greek wines and your wines in particular? Well, we could speak for hours about uh, the history and the origin of the Greek uh, wines. Um, I think wine, uh, olive oil and uh, bread, which is wheat, are the three unique products that uh, existed with the human being existence in, Greek, in, in the whole world since the beginning. It's very strange to have these products even nowadays. Olive oil, which is currently very uh, widely uh, planted in Greece, I mean since centuries now. Wine and bread, wheat. One of the reasons that people started to be nomadic is the vine cultivation. Because in the vine cultivation, in the vineyards, you have to be there all the time of the year. And as the vineyard, the vine, the plant, develops its roots, the same way people started stopping to move from one place to another. So big history about the Greek vine. Don't forget Dionysus, which was half God and half human. Don't forget the festivities they do in order to, to celebrate his name. Don't forget the symposium. Don't forget, don't forget all those beautiful things that ancient Greeks did during uh, wine drinking. I mean, some of the masterpieces that we know, probably they have not been written if wine didn't exist. So this is the history we could speak for hours. Because even during uh, the dark years of the Turkish occupation, the, the Ottoman Empire in Greece, wine still was existing in the monasteries because the monks used to cultivate vines and because of the people that they used to pay taxes to the authorities in order to produce wine. So in Greece we are lucky enough to have more than 300 Greek indigenous varietals. And in our estate, uh, we're lucky to have as well, we're lucky to have uh, as well international varieties. The estate where I work, I'm assistant winemaker in uh, Gero Vasilio and I'm Thrasgan Cities. These things I should mention before. It's uh, situated in the northern part of Greece. It includes about 56 hectares of private Lyon vineyards with some uh, foreign varietals and uh, indigenous varietals. So the wine, some of them are mono, blend, I mean blended with uh, Greek indigenous, Greek indigenous and foreign varietals. Some of them are uh, are uh, producing only using uh, Greek indigenous. Uh, you mentioned before that Greek wines are very food friendly. What are some of your favorite food pairings to go with your your wines? Well, um, we could speak for several dishes of the Greek cuisine. I would say just. Calamari and the octopus for the whites. <coughs> Excuse me, some um, fresh grilled fish. Um, <coughs> we usually do it uh, on the cargol, I mean grilled fish, which goes very beautiful with the light whites, depending on the fish, and even with uh, some heavy white wines, barrel fermented wines. For the red uh, wines, I would suggest uh, dishes with uh, uh, meat, you know, with the sauces we're doing using wine, uh, even keftedes or moussaka, all those dishes of the traditional Greek cuisine, uh, they can be much, uh, perfectly matched with the wines. But beyond Greek cuisine, I would suggest that the Greek wines are very fruit friendly also with Asian cuisine, the white ones, and also with the modern European cuisine, the, as we call it, the international cuisine, the reds. And how did you get involved and interested in winemaking? Well, to be honest, I'm a city boy, I'm a city guy. I was uh, born and raised in Thessaloniki, Greece's second largest city in the north. I have a degree in chemistry and then I was trained in enology in the same university of Thessaloniki. And then, you know, as uh, things were going, uh, were coming, I mean, I was more and more involved. The truth is I liked wine since the beginning, but to be honest, I couldn't imagine at the age of 20 or 21 that I would become a winemaker after uh, several years. It came very naturally and I believe it's a, it's a gentle thing because wine producing is not just uh, beer or milk or other things that somebody could do having a degree in chemistry or I don't know. That's great, thank you so much. You're welcome.